This two week challenge should be called Welcome to My Hangry Life, a tale by Zeta. I set myself the challenge of going two weeks without single use plastic and it was freaking hard. Basically for two weeks I was gonna not use single use plastic so anything you literally use once and then throw away. And seriously, at this point, if you're still using straws, what's wrong with you? I thought my habits before going into this challenge were pretty good. You know, I've got my keep cup for my coffee every day. I use reusable bags. I try and use um, beeswax wraps to wrap my food. I just don't think I really realized what I was getting myself into. I've been up for about half an hour, literally first day. And I've already touched my phone, which is plastic, washed my hair with plastic bottles, washed my body with soap in a plastic bottle, um, combed my hair, put oil on my hair, or plastic. It's not single use, but still, this is gonna be a pretty long two weeks, I think. Yay. I just kept messing up. So I flossed my teeth. Um, my dentist would bloody love me. This plastic free challenge technically already failed. I guess I might not be going to the toilet for two weeks. Stay tuned for a plastic free alternative. Why is spinach in a plastic container? Guess I can't use that. I don't know if I'm actually hungry or if I, I'm just hungry because I know I can't eat a snack, but I want a snack. Hmm, guess this bad boy is my after school snack. Or maybe an abo. Hmm. Very vegetarian. Almost thought I could have milk on my porridge in the morning, but no. Plastic on here. Not cardboard at all. A little bit of shopping after work and I used my bag. So I think it was a lot of me trying to figure out what I could and couldn't do. Something I'm realizing more and more to be a plastic free gal and a plas plastic, <laughs> plastic free world um, is you have to be really organized, which isn't my strong point. So that's gonna be a test, I think, as well as living with no plastic, but we can get through it. Maybe I'll learn more than one thing on this challenge. For the first few days, instead of finding plastic free alternatives and finding different things that I could eat for breakfast and lunch that didn't have plastic, I kind of just stopped eating. So, <laughs> not the greatest solution, seeing as I am the most hangry person on earth. Jason, I stopped watching this out. It's time! I haven't eaten breakfast for about four days because I just don't know what to eat. Um, so gotta solve that. Yeah. One of the most challenging things about these two weeks was food. And I don't really know what that says about me as a person, like that's what my life revolves around is food. What can I eat on the fly? Like what can I grab and go? Couldn't think of anything, literally nothing. Thought of like vegetables, like sweet potato, can not eat rice, can not eat meat. That's, that's dinner. Being organized, I think really would have solved a lot of my issues um, of not knowing what to eat, not knowing, you know, a plastic free alternative to something that I needed to use. And I don't know if it was just because I couldn't have it, but I was noticing plastic everywhere and in everything. Headphones, plastic. Phone, plastic. Phone case, plastic. Computer, chair, bed. Toothbrush, tooth, like. So not only am I basically vegetarian, I also can't have any condiments. Like, this, 
Why is there plastic on this? <gasps> I got this curry paste. Doesn't have plastic on the top, and a lot of them do. Like, what the, f the point? Plastic on the top. What's the point? We've already got the poppy thing. So just use that to see if it's like good or not. I think I started to notice other people's plastic habits as well. I started to get really irrationally angry at the world when I would go shopping and stuff like that. Sohan, what did I make you do? You made me buy this. Why? Because I wasn't using a keep cup. And how many coffees do you have a week? Five. But my mom took my old one and I wanted to get a pretty one and this is really pretty so now I have one. Now I have one! That's good! It's good! Well done! I'm so proud Thank of you. you! I literally just watched a lady put every single thing she was buying in plastic bags. Like, dude, bananas don't need to go in a plastic bag. They have their own, like, casing on them. What are you doing? It, like, really... Ugh. And she was really, like, she was putting this giant bunch of kale in a plastic bag, like, really, really struggling to get it in. And I was like, you don't, like, what are you doing? Just wash it when you get home. Also, whoever invented plastic, you are both an angel and a devil. It's so damn convenient, but... That's why it's so bad. It's such an easy, lazy option. Some of the things I learned over the two weeks that I went without plastic was you can actually save money by not using plastic. So you can take your own container to certain food places and you literally get a discount for bringing your own container. Like you can save money by not killing the world. Got a smoothie in a cup. Mm. Look at me being all organized. I just got my morning coffee, favorite time of day, in my keep cup. Mm. It's toilet paper delivery day. Ooh. Oops. You get this huge box of toilet paper delivered. You can literally go online and order it and it comes to your doors. And it has 48 rolls of toilet paper and it's all recycled and natural and like plastic free, it's all wrapped in paper. So it's good for the environment, good for you, good for your life. Well, except for this, the sticky tape that came on it is plastic. So like, because I opened it and I'm not using plastic, does then that count as plastic? And what do I do with it? Help. I think this is a really good example of little changes that you can make that are so easy like this is all wrapped in paper there's no plastic it's good for the environment it's something that you need to use every single day yeah and it's almost more convenient because it gets delivered to your house like to your door i think my habits definitely changed like i didn't really eat meat so i became pretty much vegetarian for two weeks i saved money in certain areas like taking my own container to places or not eating out, not getting takeaway, not online shopping. I'm really getting better at finding plastic free alternatives to things that I use every day. My diet has definitely changed. Not that I was a massive meat eater before, but oh, son. Um, I've definitely cut out a lot of meat because it's all wrapped in plastic. And also I'm kind of okay with that because I've wanted to go more vegetarian for quite a while, so this has been a really good way to do it. This is all of my yummy, yummy, plastic-free produce for the week. Don't know. The label isn't plastic, right? I don't know. Anyway. I'll finally be able to eat. Yay! And I got some massive, massive sweet potatoes. Mmm! At a bulk food store, which I was like, the whole point of a bulk food store is that it's bulk, so it's cheaper. It ended up being a lot more expensive. These were more expensive to fill up at a bulk food shop than it would be to buy at the supermarket. The dishwashing liquid was about $8 and it's not even full. Clothes washing liquid, I probably filled this up about halfway and it was $12. $12. This whole thing cost me $16 to buy. That's insane. Look at me being organized and not hungry. 
Got some rice in a paper bag from a bulk food shop. Look at me go. Yummy, yummy brown rice. Mm. Oh, that's too much. I filled up my shampoo and conditioner at the bulk food shop. Um, and it was actually really good. It wasn't too expensive, my hair feels nice. So I am pleasantly surprised. I definitely learned a lot over the two weeks going plastic free. It's so easy for us to be lazy and just use it. But alternatively, it's also easy to be organized and find plastic free alternatives. I think I realized a lot of areas where I use plastic unnecessarily. I'm in a way better place to figure out other areas of my life that I can reduce waste, reduce plastic, and just make like little changes every day. Like, do I need that snack? Do I need that Mentos? Do I need that something covered in plastic?